Okay guys, so in this one, I'm gonna show you how to make this text view with these links inside of them. So it's an attributed text view. And if you click on any of this black font, nothing will happen. But if you click on the blue font, you can run whatever code you want. So I am opening up a web view, but you could basically do whatever you want. So this is a part of a larger project, but if you come into register controller, so if you have your own project, then you can do this in whatever control you have. But so far what I have, I'm going to run the app I'm working on now. If you open up the page, I already have the text view and it has the text, but it doesn't have the links in it. But I'm assuming that you can set up your own text view. So we have our basic text view, but what we actually want is an NS mutable attributed string. Um, instead of this tv.text, we want a attributed string. So let's say let attributed string equals ns mutable attributed string. And then you open it up and with the string. And then I'm going to copy all this text I have and put it in there. Dot add attribute, the one with value range. So we're going to do dot link the value. I'm going to come back to this. So for the range, we want to do, we're going to put some brackets. We're going to say attributed string dot string as ns string. Then outside of those brackets, we're going to say dot range of and we're going to copy and paste our terms and conditions. So this, okay, so we still need to put in the value, but this is going to grab the position of the range of our word. And you can put whatever word you want. So just putting this in, we don't know how to run any code. So what we're going to do for this value, we're going to give it kind of like a link format. So what I'm gonna say is terms uh, colon slash slash, and you can put terms and conditions, or you can just put A, B, it doesn't really matter what you put after this terms, but make sure this terms is correct. So we're just gonna copy and paste that and do it again for the privacy policy. So you grab the privacy policy, put it for the range, and then, So then privacy, oops, I don't know if I know how to spell privacy. So privacy uh, colon slash slash. Now what we still need to do, <clears throat> I am gonna bring this text view down here. I'm gonna just format this a little bit, okay? So below text view, we're gonna say TV dot link text attributes equals uh, and a dictionary and we're going to want ns attributed string ns attributed string dot key dot foreground color and then a colon ui color dot system blue now we don't actually need this this stuff we can just do dot foreground color uh, ui color system blue but we need the ui color so background color we want dot clear we're gonna do below that i'm gonna say tv dot attributed text equals attributed text Attri or tv dot attributed text equals attributed string then text color is dot label is what i want is selectable true is editable false and then i also want tv dot delays content touches equals to be false and i think that's it so now we're going to come down to our view did load and we're going to say self dot terms text view dot delegate equals self. And then we're going to scroll to the very bottom 
of the page, we're gonna say extension register controller, and then we need to conform to the UI text view delegate, delegate, and we'll see what happens. So there's no required ones, but what we do need is should interact with, and you want the URL one. So we're just gonna come to the bottom and say return true. And then we're gonna say if URL dot scheme equals equals terms, we're gonna say else if URL scheme equals, and we want privacy, then do something else. Now, that's good, and you can run whatever code in here. So now when you click, there'll be links, and when you click the links, you can run whatever code you want. So right now it's not doing anything because we haven't done anything, and I don't know why I can select this. I don't think that's, that's correct. So let's just briefly change this to is selectable equals false. And hopefully it'll let, still let us um, click the links, but we need to write the code for that. So we're gonna say private func uh, show view controller with, so I actually want this show web viewer controller. We're gonna say with <clears throat> URL string string. And then, then we're going to say let VC equals web viewer controller with our URL string. Then we're going to say let nav equals UI navigation controller, root view controller, VC, and then self dot present present uh, nav animated true completion nil. So now in our URL schemes, we can say self dot show web viewer controller, and we need to pass in our string. So what I'm going to do is copy in Google's terms of service, and I'm also going to copy in Google's privacy policy. Because, yeah, but if you had a website, you'd use your own, obviously. So now we're going to say, Okay, so there's some cases where you can have circular loops for apparently, this is what GitHub said. So I'm gonna, we're gonna say this, text view did change selection. And let's just actually check if we can still select this and we can't. So that's fine. We're gonna say text view dot delegate equals nil. And then we're gonna say text view dot selected text range equals nil. Then we're gonna say text view dot delegate <clears throat> dot delegate equals self. So I'm not exactly sure. We're clearly resetting the delegate. I'm not completely sure what this is doing. This might be how I, so we can't select it. So we don't, we do actually want this to be true. So TV dot is selectable equals true in your variable. Okay, so that works and we can't actually select it anymore. So you want this to, ma to make sure that you can't select the text view. And this is lagging super hard. So one more thing that we need to do in our did tap sign up, we're just gonna delete this WebKit view thing that we were working on before. And now when we run it and we click our terms and conditions, everything works perfectly. So that's it. Thanks for watching. If this helped out, please subscribe and like. And thanks for watching.